Folks, Saturday night, welcome aboard. Thanks for joining us here at Murder Hobo Inc. Uh, this is the, uh, what the hell are we doing? Calamity, right? Yeah, Calamity. B-side. B-side. Calamity B-side. Uh, you're in for a treat tonight, or not, not quite sure. Uh, but if you've been watching football all day, you need a welcome break, and this is we going do. to be it. Follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit about D&D, <clears throat> join our Discord. If you want to buy cool crap like this shirt, Phone case, shower curtain, bidet cover, uh, mouthwash. I don't know. We sell a lot of shit. Uh, check out our website down below. Uh, most importantly, if you want to be on a show, either a one shot or the talk shows on Tuesday, hit us up at M Hobo Inc. Twitter or Gmail. We will get you on there. Tentatively, we've got a one shot slated for next Saturday, but. Uh, family we'll issues might kibosh that one. Uh, don't forget, if you're in the need for dice and who isn't, uh, try on Twitter at Pirate Dog Dice for some custom made dice. Uh, they smell and roll scentfully great, just like Adventure Scents from oddfishgames.com. Uh, they come in 60 different scents to spice up your in-person game. Uh, definitely check them out. They also make the Shine System. So if you want to write gooder than me, uh, go ahead and check out their Shine System. They are also working on fulfilling their Kickstarter out of RPG with your cat. So if you donated like me, uh, just be patient. Folks, this is Calamity Side B. Let's go ahead and introduce you to the people who are going to occupy your time for the next uh, two hours, maybe. Uh, we'll start uh, at the bottom. We are missing one. He'll be here shortly. So we will start with David. Who are you? Oh. Who do you play? Okay. Hi, I'm David. <laughs> Those of you who, who watch the show <laughs> uh, know me from uh, Between the Rolls and also uh, the show <laughs> Cacophony. Um, you can also catch me on a one shot. I'm on the Twitterverse. Uh, as D and Devious, and uh, yeah, yeah, we're gonna see what we get up to tonight. I play Crow, the Rogue Scout. Nicely done. Uh, next up is David. David, same questions, different answers. Uh, you just did, David. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I'm thinking David in his other character, Rob. Rob oh. as Dave. <laughs> That's the confusion, folks. Yeah. Hi, I'm Rob, and uh, you can find me on the social things at, at Cthulhu Rob, and I normally play Dave, which where the confusion came from, on the Calamity A side, and some semi-frequently some other fool on a one-shot, and once in a while show up for the uh, Between the Rolls, because I like to play Iron DM sometimes. Um, other than that, I'm here to be Brother Cup. So, uh, hello. I Iron DM is awesome. Next up is Jesse. Jesse, who are you? Who do you play? Uh, hello. Uh, I am Jesse. You can find me on all the Twitter sphere. Oh, nope. I am muted still. No, nope, not. you're good. No, you're, you're not good. muted. <laughs> you're good. <laughs> I had a uh, bitch. You can find me on the... Got it. Uh, Boy, Coda, wake up. You can find up. me on all the spaces. Uh, uh, sleeping, struggle. Uh, you can find me on all the spaces at JR Wee, and I am playing... Uh, the Paladin Cleric, uh, Brother Coda. Nice. Now, is yeah. that why you is that why you haven't changed your name? <laughs> no, I actually wanted to be that because that's the best. Um, I have been multitasking between multiple things and or. We heard things. some of that. Yes, I tried to press the buttons to make me not so, but it was awesome. <laughs> right, so last but certainly not least, Carrie. Carrie, who are you? Who do you play? You're muted. And you're muted. <laughs> hey. oh, muted. Try the button. Okay. How about now? There you oh, gotcha. Okay. <laughs> So I'm Carrie, and I'm the fill-in, so whenever he doesn't have enough people, that's basically my job. And I run, and I do the producing. Not on Cacophony. Well, no, yeah, you're, you're that's true. 
Yeah. That's my show. We can't um, have I mean, Cacophony without you. <laughs> we can't have B-Side without Krindor Sue. Oh, that's that's true. true. So yes, I play Krindor Sue, a barbarian berserker who, for some reason, acts more intelligent than she should be. That's no shit. I was looking at your staff. I'm like, now wait a minute. What's that? What the hell, man? Uh, folks, as we said, this is Calamity B-Side. Uh, so no running through zombie-infested streets this evening. That's the A-Side group. Uh, B-Side are stuck in a swamp land called Murga. Uh, three of these individuals are Murga indigenous personnel. Uh, the other, of course, is Crendor Sue. She is an immigrant, but they don't hate her. Uh, these guys aren't Republicans. We have so good plumbing. Okay. That's right. They have good plumbing and have dry uh, floors, uh, dry floors and rooftops and shit like that. Uh, these guys uh, recently came to the settlement of Jekko, uh, stockade fence surrounding area, with some high quality housing uh, or government housing, depending on how you look at it. Uh, Crendor Sue's uh, people uh, are in control of this area, along with a variety of different individuals. There are some Murga indigenous individuals, as well as some humans and uh, a few other trappings. These guys have spent almost a month here. Uh, let's see, Kodo worked with the blacksmith, Crow worked with the Fletcher, Cup worked on patrol, so he was the cop. Uh, and Crendor was the librarian. So all totaled, uh, you know, these guys have gotten a month-long break. Uh, however, at the close of last scenario, they were attacked. Uh, the settlement was attacked by Noel or bugbears, wasn't it? Mm, yeah, bugbears. Bugbears. Uh, bugbears. Uh, and information revealed or taken from the bugbears that two of the individuals did not pee on uh showed an attack was imminent against the <sighs> community of zeto to the north a much fancier place uh at the close of business they decided that they would talk to winston the holy a human from the west uh, as opposed to niska poot the leader of the settlement so as you guys Oot. return uh coda you have been healed courtesy of brother cup uh you guys wander on in the stockade gates open there is uh a triumphant boff the half orc individual who assisted you by damn near decapitating the bugbear with one swipe uh, because my rolls were too good winston the holy is on guard duty and he meets you at the gate and asks friends what say you Hola. You guys do know this guy. Okay. <laughs> well, patrol was patrol. It was successful. I mean, we did run into a skirmish. He looks at code and he goes, "You got you got red on you." It's a bit right here. It's a bit here, and then a little here, a little it's, here. It's, it's a that, lot that, here, that, not that, so much here or here. T turn around and show in the back. Yeah, I've got some there too. It's uh, he was a you, wicked pisser. You look like somebody has used you as a wax container from candles, possibly a satanic ritual. Hail, Hail Satan. Uh, see, <laughs> he's what, a nice channel, guy. <laughs> what channel was that on? Uh, it was Hulu. Uh, if you've got Hulu, check out uh, the Church of Satan, the Sat the Satanic Temple. Uh, it's a documentary. It's actually pretty good. Uh, two two thumbs up and some fingers. <laughs> anyway, uh, we sponsor. The <laughs> they might. That's an idea. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this this week's episode sponsored by the Satanic Temple. Yeah. Hail Satan! I think it's uh, more likely the Discordian to sponsor us. <laughs> Uh, beats Nickelodeon. So, uh, Winston the Holy uh, checks you out, Cody. You do the uh, Miss America spin. Uh, you know, you're going to need to do laundry. Got anything to tell him? Usually we just knock him in a river. Uh, uh, we found out that we need to head out to another place. Uh, heard it's fancy place, floating city Vivi. or something. Zeto. 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 Why yeah. do you need to go to Zeto? 
uh, you know, stuff's there. Sounds like fun. Uh, oh, and the I imminent attack. Imminent uh, attack. Yes. It's right. There's the other group that's going to attack us, uh, possibly kill us. We figured we'd uh, take the initiative and get out there and uh, kick them square in the... Uh, Go Nats! Nats. Yeah. Jigglies. The so, <laughs> yep. so are you going to reveal the presence of the document? Yeah, I don't see why not. Yeah, he, he would. Here you go. He, he, he begins to yell for Nisko. We're, we're idiots. So you guys have proven that over and over again. Uh, Niska comes up, wants to know what the hubbub's all about. Uh, Winston hands her the document. And she's, oh, no, this will, this will not do. This will not do at all. Uh, we must go and we must help them defend themselves. That is a major holding in the north phenomenal uh, exactly what we were thinking are you for volunteering of course mm, okay. ah come on krinda it's not like you've got anything else to do i mean i mean you'll get to bash things krinda you know how you like to bash things <laughs> that's true <laughs> when it's not us <laughs> and, and, and you might even meet deck deck who knows <laughs> and they go all the way through the alphabet uh so uh niska asks if you require any assistance from her or her people well you guys are a talkative group tonight we are i was just uh, trying to figure out the number of generations <laughs> between deck deck and peck but anyway six, <laughs> six degrees of separation man <laughs> uh, is there kevin bacon uh, here somewhere if you guys have got it, we could use uh, maybe horses, a uh, cart. A cart. Uh, a cat. We, uh, you have seen pretty... carts. You have you not... say cat? Yeah, he said cart. cart. Uh, any upgraded uh, weaponry or possibly something that makes us uh, nope, just squishy? A and I mean, I've been working at the armor. I'd love to get me a nice new weapon. Uh, well, maybe D12, just get the one I've been working on. Uh, D12 against me there, Coda. Okay. Oh. No. Or reroll. Nine. Eight. Uh, I'll give you the weapon you've been working on. Uh, and I'll give D6. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Crow. Uh, Bro, I will give you eight magical arrows. Plus nice. one. <clears throat> so they've, okay. been, they've been tucked away. Uh, in lieu of magic, these things have fiberglass shafts and fine metal heads. Uh, it's an heirloom. It's an heirloom? <laughs> but, but they will function as plus one arrows. Coda, uh, okay. your weapon of choice will do one additional point of damage. Not nothing to hit, but one additional point of damage. Ooh. Because you put in a serrated edge on it to make it deadlier. Uh nice. Krendor and Brother Cup, no joy in Mudtown for you. Uh they do have a cart, uh, and they have one oxen they can spare. Ooh. Nice. Ooh, lovely. Yes, let's get the cart hooked up to the oxen. This I know. Vehicles land. Yep. Here we go. And Animal handling, I'm okay with that too. All right, we're good then. <laughs> yep, yep. Okay, here we go. Come on, you know, Bilbo. You know I'm killing go. this thing, right? <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Yeah, okay, just making sure. As long as uh, we have to eat it. <clears throat> she points out that Zeto is uh, almost a week's journey, four and a half days. Oh. Uh, so she will ask the collective to go ahead and get you guys fresh water. Uh, food and it's it's a really dinky That's what cart. What it's for? That's yeah, perfect. It, yep. <laughs> it's like chariot size. So, uh, uh, but it, it but it'll hold all your stuff. Great. Right. We get to walk. Uh, uh, you want to ride the ox, Crendor? Look to your feet. I can walk. <clears throat> Brother Cup, uh, the individual known to you as Boff comes up and. Boff. Uh, Smacks you on both shoulders and said, "My friend, I hope you have a a safe trip. If if it is okay with you, 
I would like to name my newborn son after you. You'll name your newborn son Cup. Yes. I I think I'd be honored. How about just brother? <clears throat> so uh, Doff's or Boff's son will be named Cup. With one P or two Ps? That's a good question. Uh, he hasn't had anything to drink, so one P. Uh, nice. That's a good way to tell us apart. <clears throat> <clears throat> so, uh, that being said, Crendor uh, D12, or yeah, Crendor D12 against me. Eight. Ugh, three. Uh, nothing for you. Uh, Niska wishes you the best uh, and informs you that you must help uh, your people, our people. Yeah, uh, yeah. So apparently you're going to the land of indoor plumbing on a lake. Awesome. So they give you the royal send off. Huzzah! Huzzah! (laughs) (laughs) The gates will open the next day and you guys can begin your journey. Come on, Bilbo. Let's go. A1. (laughs) Shocker precipitation oh son of a bitch oh, such a lovely day for it too who's d6 and against me shit i will hey. go ahead crendor yes six the mur- the murder hobo speaks ah uh, mm. you got that a six spoke. as well bad news everybody perception roll oh <clears throat> Ooh. we might be marginally good at that I am absolute crap. Uh, a ten. Ooh. Uh, net twenty for crow plus seven twenty-seven. Uh, yeah. Um, they got a thirteen plus seven twenty dirty types. Uh, twenty-one. Nice. Uh, everybody but Crendor Sue hears snapping. Like. Just trudging along. Like a clicking. <laughs> oh God! No. Oh. It's West Side. West Side Marga. <laughs> uh, since the jets are all grounded, it must be the sharks. Uh, I say, what's that What's that clicking noise? The clicking is coming closer to you. Crendor, I will assume that you are with the oxen. The oxen stops dead in its tracks. I go, eh, eh. Why are you stopping? <laughs> Where are don't, you poking? Don't poke, Bilbo. <laughs> A crustacean comes out from some of the weeping willow trees that line the river here uh and it looks just like a scorpion if it were gigantic oh, everybody roll bitch. initiative wow already oh, shields up this fucker's running at you guys apparently 16. wow <laughs> wow <laughs> oh, 15. man for brother cup I'm getting my nat one out of the way to right? oh. yeah, that out of the way. <laughs> You're gonna stand by and see what happens. Well, well make sure you guys have got this. I'm gonna go over here and take a quick piece. Yeah, right. I'm feeling the urge too, because I rolled a two. <laughs> it's a different kind of urge. Uh oh. <laughs> Great. Uh from between the trees closest to Crendor Sue, the beast snap, 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 snap. Heads right for you guys. Uh it gets Two attacks. Yep, two attacks. First attack is the claw against three crow. Second oh. attack is the stinger. Not gonna have you do both. Two brother cup. Uh Crendor, yes. you are close enough you'll be able to attack at the very same time it does. All right, I'll use my great axe. Um, plus five. 13. Uh, it rings off the outer shell. 15 to hit this bastard. Bastardo. Uh, crow, snip, snip. It goes for the vasectomy. I am going to use my reaction as a skirmisher to move. <laughs> uh, 18 plus 4 is 22. Still hits. <laughs> uh, it is going to do 1d8 plus 2. Seven damage as it Ouch. gives you a new haircut. Brother Cup, be careful. Hi. 
This thing hurts. Yeah, it hurts. A two. A two will not do anything. The venomous tail misses. Uh, next up is the 15, Brother Cup. As you deftly dodge its stinger. Uh, let me see. Oh, that's lovely. Or do I want to do that? Um, let's have it make a dexterity save as I cast Sacred Flame. Uh, 17 plus no, one, then 18. It, it saves. Uh, is that your only thing? Uh, that's that's my spell, action, spell attack action. So, yeah. Bro. Uh, pretty much. Bro is going to, since this thing is all up in my grill, uh, gonna make a short sword attack. Okay. Maybe I didn't make the hand uh, signal right. Okay, wait. Does a 28 hit? Mm -hmm. 15's all you need. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, that was a nat 20. So. Does a 30 uh, hit? I don't know. Does a 38 hit? Uh, so, but yes, it's only eight, eight points of slashing damage. And I'm going to make the offhand attack. And that I got to roll without a modifier. Uh,. Yeah, uh, that misses. I rolled a 12. Yeah. What? Right. Let's food. see. Uh, come up. I'll look at the crib. I'm like, all right. I'm going to hit you now. Uh, and then I will cast... I will cast Kabong at level whatever. <clears throat> mm -mm 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 -mm. All right. Let's hit him. Natural 20 with nice. the Warhammer. So it's 2d8. Holy shit. That definitely kabonged him. It's a 3. And a 4. Uh, so 11 points of bludgeoning damage. Nice. I'm like, take that, you silly bastard. <clears throat> Who's That's rolling it. for the oxen? Oh, no. I'll roll for the oxen. You got uh, Ollie, the oxen? <laughs> roll your d20 against me. I am rolling a d20. If I win, the oxen charges. 16. Yeah, it's charging. I got an 8. <laughs> oh, Bilbo, no! As round two begins, uh, you hear the oxen... Argh! And the uh, cart begins to charge forward. Everybody make a dexterity check. If you fail, you attack at disadvantage. 14. Look, the oxen's about oh. to shit on that crab. <laughs> nope, nope, 14. That's right. I get no bonuses to that. Uh, 23. 10. <laughs> I'm a dwarf. I don't have dexterity. Krendor, Coda, you are both attacking at disadvantage. The scorpion also attacks at disadvantage. Uh, so this time it will go after snappers. Number three again, Crow. Stinger, number one, Krendor. <clears throat> so Krendor, go ahead and attack at disadvantage. One. Oh, very good. Roll a d4. Ah, here it begins. Three. Crow takes the hit. <laughs> Go ahead and roll damage and cut it in half. <laughs> wow. Sorry. <laughs> oh, this is how I'm going to go. I know it. <laughs> so what's the damage? What's the damage, Grendor? Oh. Uh... Uh, 1d12 plus 3. <laughs> Roll your d12. Add 3. Cut it in half. Uh... Do max damage. <laughs> uh... Great axe to the head. 3. So 6 total? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so half 3. 3, three <laughs> damage. Uh, okay, snappies. 
and I have to roll at this advantage as well. A nine and an 18, so unless a 13 gets you, I'm assuming no. No. Crow? No. Oh, Crow, 13, no, does not get me. Crendor Sue, here comes the stinger. You shitting me. Double nickel. Fives. Ah, so that's going to be a miss because that's a nine. <laughs> Next up, 15, Brother Cup. Ooh, ooh, I'm going to reach out and touch it. Uh, Natural 20 to hit with my spell attack. <clears throat> and I'm going to do uh, that 17, 22 points of ray or necrotic damage to it. What are you using? Um, it's called Inflict Wounds. <clears throat> okay. At what level? First, that's 3d10 necrotic. Really? Yeah. It is wow. a pretty badass spell. <laughs> okay. Uh, number two, Crow, you're up. Okay. Stop um, trying to hurt my friends. <laughs> uh, Crow is going to use the, the, the crawfish is within <laughs> five feet of me, right? It finished just when it attacked me. Mm -hmm. I mean, it. Okay. So as a skirmisher, I'm going to use a reaction to use my movement speed without provo uh, provoking an opportunity attack. <laughs> and so you're uh, going to run like a bitch, is what you're telling. Me. Well, just enough to Dip and fire dodge. fire away to knocking an arrow and and taking a shot. All right. One, 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 one. Yeah. One. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let's see. Son of a bitch, Frank. Did you get a one? Two. Uh, so ten. Oh. So close. D four, please. That could have been oh, worse. Oh god. Yeah, it could have been my back. Exactly. I didn't roll a one. I rolled a two. I know. <laughs> okay, one. Uh, Crendor Sue, an arrow goes whizzing right past your fucking ear. Uh, it, <laughs> it whistles, which is really weird because you were just behind Crow, but when he went to knock his arrow, he discharged early, uh, probably due to uh, age or some kind of medical there's condition. There's a blue pill for sure. that. Yeah. Might just be excitement. <laughs> Coda! <laughs> close a little the premature. Round. All right, let's... Uh... He it out of his quiver, if you know what I mean. Uh -huh. <laughs> let's hit him again. Might uh... have trigger finger. 15 is 15. 15 is your magic number. Sweet. <clears throat> All right, so let's do some damage. 1d8. It's 10 points of bludgeoning damage. <coughs> no, don't run. Just hit him like that. Nice. New oh, round. Hold on. Sorry. I had a disadvantage. I forgot because of the thing. Let me make sure I didn't. Okay. No, I got a 19 on the second roll. Okay. So. Uh, round three begins. Crendor, the uh, giant scorpion, is not looking good. Everybody rolls normally at this point in time. Crendor, I'll let you go, noting that the giant scorpion goes at the same time. Where did the <clears throat> oxen go? Oh, uh, ahead. Fifteen. <laughs> Fifteen hits. Smart ox. Get out of there. Rampaging through the jungle at this point in time. <laughs> Goes with, my coat. with all your shit. Yeah, so it's like yeah. Ferdinand the bull <laughs> with the with the bee. Oh, it's a Fortunately, we should be able to follow it easily enough. How yeah. much? Uh, six. You will kill this thing, but first, hey. <laughs> claws. Three again, Crow. It hates your guts. Uh, oh, no. The Stinger. Crendor Sue again. It hates oh, your no. guts. Crow, here comes the Snappers. Okay. Uh, 10 plus 4. Oh, oh sorry. does that hit? 16 plus 4, my bad. Uh, oh, 20 one. hits. <laughs> 7 <laughs> plus 2. 9. 9 uh, points of damage? Mm-hmm. And wow. Crendor. Now oh, 20, Crendor. That stinger nails your ass. 
I'm gonna need a constitution save. Ooh, and you take maximum damage. 15. Mm -hmm. uh, you save on the poison for half. Uh, you take 12 damage from the stinger itself. Uh, so let me rustle up my D10s because it takes a lot of them. Fortunately, you're only taking half. The other one. I am miss. Oh, there it is. Are you shitting me? Two, four, seven, nine. Uh, take four points of poison damage. That was a shit roll. So, 12 and 4? Correct. Okay. Uh, the scorpion sways uh, one or six. It doesn't hit either one of you. Two through five, it does. Seriously? One, it falls backwards. Dude. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> what uh, the so, so this scorpion-like creature, is it more like lobsterish or is it more scorpionish? More scorpionish. Uh, uh, as as Coda has correctly mentioned, uh, you hear the brain of the oxen as the rain continues to pound down upon you. Uh, you can tell from the terrain that if you don't stop that thing, the uh, wagon's going to suffer substantial damage. Oi, Bilbo! <laughs> Can I take some scales oh. off of this thing? Cat. <clears throat> sure. Fuck. All right. All right, I'm gonna chase after the cat. I'm doing that, I'll let them chase after the cow. Yeah. Uh, roll, roll a d20, Crendor. I'm the <laughs> slowest person in this group. 13. Why am I running? <laughs> Crow's the fastest. So is Crow running? Yeah, Crow's running, and he's gonna use his uh, rogue uh, feet. Cunning action to bonus action dash after Holy after shit. the movement. So cool. It only has a two round lead on you. Uh Crendor, you did not prick yourself on the poisonous stinger, and you have successfully managed to peel off some of its uh I don't know what you call it. Cankerous hide. Carapace. Uh, I believe it's there you go. Uh, Chitinous. 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 Uh, I, I like cankerous. <laughs> chitness, if you prefer, uh, you know, we chitinous. can do it anyway. Uh, chitness. chitness. Uh, it's got that chitness. It's got that chit hide. Adore. Uh, it's the good chit, man. Ow. <laughs> this wound is still fresh. Uh, you look around. Cocksuckers. This is typical. Uh, <laughs> your associates are gone. I slap the hide on and I just start trudging after him. I hear the, the <laughs> thing going, Marr, Marr. Not too far ahead of you is Coda, the least athletic of the group. <laughs> Having a it's hard my tiny attack. legs. I can't run fast. Cup and Crow, give me dexterity checks or slip in the mud. Oh, okay. All right. Not like we're not used to that in life. Uh, 15. Don't uh, get a bonus for for crow sixteen. Uh, neither of you slip, uh, but the rain is really pouring down here. You have to choose what appears to be a path to the left or a path to the right. We can't tell uh, which way it went. Can I use survival it's skills? Weeping, weeping willows. Dang it! I'm, you can, I'm a scout. but that will take you around. Oh, okay. It's worth it to to know to go in the right direction. Sure. <clears throat> okay. So, <clears throat> survival check. Survival check. Got it. Actually, investigation check. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. My scores are the same. Yeah, they're they're about the same. Uh, twenty five. Are you gonna roll anything less than a fifteen today? <laughs> Uh, yes. I, well, I rolled a two. <laughs> I rolled it, a couple of twos. It's to the right. You oh, go good. Right. Okay. Oh, thank God, because I was just about to say, just as he's sitting there looking, Cup is going to just book by him to the right. 
Uh, Crow, as you investigate, Cup doesn't care. He keeps going. He just keeps uh, going. I'm like, hey! <laughs> you, you can hear Coda huffing along behind you. Crendor Sue is nonplussed. Grumbling. Doesn't, doesn't give two shits. Doesn't oh. like the rain. Uh, Brother Cup, give me a perception check. Sure. I'm like, Cup! <laughs> Nine plus seven, 16. Uh, you hear the oxen screech loudly. And as you clear yet another willow tree, you see a snapper. Oh, snapper. Oh, no. really? Coming up, uh, going after the oxen. Give me an initiative roll, cup. Give me an initiative roll at disadvantage. Ooh. 18. Oh, that's pretty oh. good. 18 as well. You said disadvantage, right? Yep. <laughs> well, that's a disadvantage. You got your wish, Frank. It's below a 15. So <laughs> it's it seven plus two. It's nine. Uh, okay, Cup, you and I, uh, you better kill this thing before it kills your oxen. I'm going to hit it with Guiding Bolt. At the same time it snaps. Why don't we use yep. these spiffy bows you have? Oh, I mean, oh. <laughs> uh, where are we at here? Hold on. <clears throat> I have to do a spell a tap. Okay. Ring, ding, 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 ding. That's at plus seven. 17 plus seven is 24. I'm going to assume that that hits. Easily. And it's going to do 46. Yeah, I'm not upcasting it. So uh, 46. I've got four murder hobos in hand. Here we go. Oh, not that. Only one of them became a murder hobo, though. So six, five is 11, and four is 15, and three is 18 points of radiant damage. Very nice. At the exact same moment you unleash your spell attack, you see its maw open up, and it goes for the oxen's leg. Oh, Bilbo! Come on. With a four, it snaps just shy as the oxen attempts to kick out uh, Brother Cup's spell is true, <clears throat> and it goes overboard and floats back into the river, upside down, its white belly glistening in the raindrops. It's dead. Mm -hmm. Just a regular old crocodile. Ah. And Brother Cup here is using a fucking forty-four Magnum on it. Well, okay. <laughs> Bilbo was in danger. Uh, fortunately for you, Bilbo has stopped running because uh, it has shat it, itself. It, much like Coda, is tired and is shat itself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Coda uh, comes huffing and puffing up behind Crow as he arrives, and Crendor is picking fucking daisies, and she arrives subsequently as well. It was uh, just a little snapper. <laughs> Here. Here is where the fun begins. You uh, brother, have caught that thing so we could eat it. Brother <laughs> Cup, yeah, you can probably dig it out. Brother Cup, D12 against me to see if you have lost any of your stuff. Shit. I have an eight. I have a 10. <laughs> <laughs> Roll percentile dice. I'll give you two rolls. Take the highest. Okay. Oh my God. The highest is how much percentage-wise, you have of your shit. <laughs> so see, I'm, I'm spelling it out there, Crow. Okay. okay. I, I did out, this. Um, uh, um, and 84. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <Love that. laughs> the other one was 69, and I, was, I, I just wanted to point out that the other roll was 69, but 84 is better than 69 in this instance. Yeah, no, that, that's fine. Uh, you, you make the count. You seem to be missing a water skin. So you're going to have to conserve. Bother, bother, bother. Maybe, so some of, maybe some of the oats for Bilbo. Oh. Uh, Bilbo. Bilbo was almost steaks. So. Bilbo should get a treat. Well, you, you would, but you, you lost some of his oats already. So. Yeah, we've, we've kind of lost some of his shit, so he's going to have to suffer like the rest of us. Uh, you somebody make a survival roll and find him something to eat. Oh. Yeah, uh, feed him that poison oak. Yeah. 
Uh, okay, so there is a crocodile floating around. If you guys want to try and dig it out, I'm fine with that. For Grindor food. seemed game for that. Uh, mm. We got most of our shit. That just sounds like asking for trouble at this point. Well, I mean, it's his life. I mean, Crendor, uh, you caused probably this pretty problem, cooked. So yeah. re-roll your d6 against me. Caused shit. One <laughs> six. Oh no. Uh, the rest of the day passes uneventfully because we're going on matching. Uh, day one. The goods. Mm -mm. Uh, day two you guys bed down I assume you guys have watch day two the weather does not improve (laughs) it is still fucking raining somewhere along the lines you have arrived in Louisiana during hurricane season Uh, Uh who's D6 and against me this time oh I'll do it Brother Cup. <laughs> no wow. match. The, the weather's real, real bad, evidently. Yeah, but no match. So uh, the day passes uneventfully, except you guys are really, really tired of all this bullshit rain. I'm you pretty. Can't, you can't, Honestly, quite nice. You can't even make fire <laughs> it's kind of nice it just means chesting is blessing us with her tears because we're having a we're on a sad journey i mean this it's is like how she Forrest brings Gump. fertility to the land oh, it's, it's either like that Gump. sometimes it's either that or she's pissing on sideways <laughs> I'll, I'll go with the pissing on it you guys are idiots. Oh. well if <laughs> she pisses on a flat rock then it goes sideways <laughs> it's true it's day true. three is crendor sue realizes she is in monty python's troop the weather is there a rabbit here? Well, you better Good watch news. out. They're dangerous. There is a change in the weather. Uh, it gets it is worse. now stormy. <laughs> Jaskin bless. Jaskin Light- bless. Lightning <laughs> fills the sky. Coda, Ooh. she's speaking directly to you. Who this is-, is my kind of weather. Who is D sixteen this time? I will because this is yeah, my major. This is Jaskin. So yeah, well, Jaskin's <laughs> talking right to him. Chosen of Cheskin. Chosen of Toad Town. Good news. No encounters. Bad news. Everybody roll a 20. If you match my number, you're going to have to dodge the lightning. Boy. I rolled a nat one. I got a one, an eight. Fourteen. Try again, Coda. Oh, oh I got 19. 19? Yeah. Uh, okay, good news. No lightning strikes near any of you. And somebody roll for the oxen. Oh, uh, no. Uh, 13? Oh. Mine was a six. Oh, thank God. So uh, lightning is filling the sky. It's hitting a lot of trees around you. But day three ends... Yeah, uneventfully. But if Bilbo dies, we get burgers. Hmm. That is true, but they'll be well done. Day four. Sadly, the weather has changed yet again. Cheskin's tears have stopped flowing. The day is gloomy and overcast. Crow, D6. Third in a row. Uneventful. Uh, Uh, Uneventful. You're pretty sure you should be close to this place. You've been traveling by the river. Uh, Everybody give me an investigation check as night begins to fall. Oh, investigation. Yeah. Um, Got that plus zero. I got that minus one. Twelve. Eight. Five. Um, Perfectly safe. Looks like a really good spot to camp. 19. <laughs> I'm not sure about this. Crow, you see a body floating down the river towards you guys. Uh-oh. <laughs> I point that out. Uh, 
You realize this body, is rather guys. Uh, it's a body of water. <laughs> Do we a body know it? in a body of water. Does it look like yeah. anyone we know? I don't it's know. Down. It's headed towards uh, Jekko, so I doubt it's anybody you guys would know. Um, hey, Kevin. Sucks to be Jim. Jim. Jim in accounting. <laughs> Does he have red hair? Steve. Oh, no, it's not Kevin. Can I? Is it close enough to try to fish it out, or uh, you're gonna have? Do you want to get in the water, or do you want to try and fish it out with what? Uh, rope and a monkey's fist. Okay, go ahead. All right, hit it using dexterity as your modifier. Okay, uh, dexterity. Uh, alrighty. Uh, boy, fourteen. Does fourteen hit? <clears throat> The monkey fist embeds itself in what would uh, generally be construed as the anus region. Seriously? Uh, I'm not going to want this back. Probably the ennui. <laughs> the ennui. Uh, as you <laughs> hand over hand, you realize this body is furry. So it's either Cup, Eve. Cup's relative, or perhaps a monster. Oh, Okay. Uh, well, <laughs> I cut that section of rope off <laughs> from the monkey fist. Uh, the, the rope's not the part with the monkey. It's the monkey fist that you got to worry about. Yeah, I that's what Steve. I'm saying. Uh, I, yeah. So, so you're, uh, you're getting rid of the monkey fist? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's going to retrieve that. Steve is important right now. <laughs> Roll a d20. Make sure that you uh, beach the body. Okay. It's furry. It's not Steve, is it? It is. Uh, just get so, in there. Uh, a thirteen. Get your hands in there. You uh, you managed to beach this body. Okay. Uh, this this creature is something hideous. Uh, you do not recognize what it is. Its skull has been deformed due to bludgeoning damage. It's kind of beefy. Uh, you guys have never seen a gorilla, but you're assuming that it's not a human. Right. Uh, but it's got the bare pecs. You uh, said it had a beach body, though, right? It, it's beach <laughs> body now. Uh, <laughs> it's like beach brown body now. fur. Uh, and it appears to be very bulky in nature. Yeah, beach body oh. breached bunghole. That's so nasty. Yeah. Boy, this looks kind of like your, uh, what are your ex crow? Is this, <laughs> this, this thing is. Deadly is seen. Hey, hey, Crow, remember when you were dating Martha? This might be <laughs> it's Martha. not her. <laughs> this might be Martha's sister. Yeah, Martha's dead, Crow. We know. <laughs> we saw your role. Shove <laughs> it back in and keep going. Sure. Crow, your girlfriend. Woof. Woof. <laughs> hey. Any port in a storm. That's a butterface. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't even have a, a, a you know a witty <laughs> r- retort to that. It's just like yeah, yeah, you know, I, you know. I, I've you got know, a did make a lovely loaf of bread. I've got a couple of comments, even though we're for mature audiences only. I'm going to go ahead and bypass this. That's to avoid probably hate. best. Hate mail. <laughs> uh, day five. Uh, the oxen's out of food, and you guys are running way low on water. Oh, well. But but fortunately, there's a every, river right there. Yeah. And we have clerics. Purified so, food and water. Uh, fortunately, you guys are starting to get dried out because it's high winds. <laughs> oh, you got one of Lovely. those. Lovely. Uh, yeah, uh, it's nature's blow dryer. I'm going to need a D6 from somebody. Anybody? Anybody? Can do it. Because I've got my hands in. And you guys reach a coastal area uh, on a mm. huge lake. Uh, with the wind, uh, you guys are shielding your faces. However, in the mist of the water, way out there, like a quarter of a mile or so out there, uh, it's like a, a collection of stringed buildings or something. Uh, they're just... They aren't really floating or moving, but it, it's almost like this is a mirage and uh, there's there's buildings 
in the middle of this massive lake. I, I mean, it's it's not a great lake, but it's a big lake. Uh, the high winds, uh, there's some debris because they don't recycle very well uh, along the coast, a lot of leaves, stuff like that. But as you look out upon this, you can see the coast going in both directions. Uh, you don't see any attack going on. You don't see any boats in the water. Uh, and you don't see any way to get there. <clears throat> wow. Well, right, we got to take care of Bilbo. He's hungry. I could have eaten monkey ass or crow girlfriend ass. Oh, no. No. <laughs> He's a ruminant. So He's not going to eat here, that shit. Here along the lake shore, what's the territory like? Same as always. Mud, uh, overgrown trees, things of that nature. You're you're most likely very well hidden from view of this collection of buildings. Uh, there is a mist uh, because it ha the fog hasn't burned off yet because it's early morning on the 5th. <clears throat> and the... Uh, High winds are not dissipating the fog as you had hoped. Uh, but each of you smell food. Food? Food. Hmm. The wind is coming across the lake. Uh, so whatever smell you're picking up is probably coming from the collection of buildings. Oh. <clears throat> we could turn Bilbo loose and he could find food. Go, be free. Live your dream. dream. I mean, mm -hmm. it's a pastoral animal. There's, There's got to be something for it to graze on. What if somewhere. there's predators for it? What do you mean, if? <laughs> this is what I was about to say. Uh, yeah. well, you, you know, uh, chess can intend things to be this way, and therefore they are. And this well, is why I have no religion. Is it yeah, that's... To just the heathen? Yes. No. I don't have Hail any Satan. understanding of of, of 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 how she orders the universe with this mind. <laughs> Says the guy who didn't see indoor plumbing until her people showed it to you. Right. There's your difference right there. I believe in God. Eh, I believe in indoor plumbing, bitch. <laughs> Sounds about right. Yeah. Science versus I've never yeah. seen indoor plumbing kill a crocodile from 30 feet away before. You don't need to. Only God ooh, can do that. It goes that way. Uh, so, uh, how do you... Now, you can continue... You can try and ford the river. Uh, so, is it a river or is it a lake? It's a lake, but it's a tributary. So, the river you've been following is fed by this lake. Mm. <clears throat> so, we could go around one way or we can ford the river and go around the other way. You can ford the river to the right and go around that way, or you can travel left. I mean, go around that way. Well, um, I'm not good at decision making. We, we can flip something for it, or I can, Let's or go left. I can venture out. <laughs> Let's just go I, left. Left. I'm okay, on. left it is. <laughs> Let's uh, go. As you travel left, you travel the rest of the day. And it begins to rain again. Yeah, of course. <laughs> uh, as you go by, you notice several small uh, tributaries, creeks, if you will, feeding this lake from the far side, because, of course, it's all running this way. <clears throat> As you ford a couple with Bilbo in tow, uh, you come to a rather large river, similar in size as to the one that you were following. Everybody, investigation check. Ooh, here, I, this I'm so good at this. Ten. Hmm. All right. Sixteen. Oh, of course. Uh, I have a dirty nineteen. <clears throat> Huh? Oh, okay. Investigation, so 22. Crow, Cup, and Coda, uh, you guys noticed that this river seems to be 
uh, not quite as deep, even though the riverbanks suggest otherwise. Hmm. Did this river have been dammed or something like that? Uh, the... ha Hail Satan. Well, I mean, uh, if, yeah, if someone hates it that dammed. much, you can probably dam it. I mean, yeah. oh, yeah. you mean like with uh, what the big children? <laughs> with Earth or something. Yeah. Uh, it's possible you'd have to go upstream to figure that one out, though. Okay. Um, I mean, that's my explanation for it to be so shallow compared to the banks. So, um, I mean, but there, there's obvious water lines that we can see at one time that it was higher. Is, is that what you're saying? Yeah, and it's raining. Okay. So um, somebody's plugged it up. It's not... Uh... It's kind of like a monkey good. fist in a bunghole. <laughs> so plugged it up. It's very true. Sounds like it could be exactly like that. Well, then let's cross here while we've got the low, low river. Sure. Survi survival right. check for Bilbo and the Wag. I have a good survival. Let's go there. Uh, Wah, 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 uh, 16 plus 6, 22. 13 plus 7? So. Brother Cup successfully guides it across, almost getting it stuck in the mud. You have successfully crossed this river. Uh, you are now on the far side of the river. You are at about the 10 o'clock position uh, from whence you started at the 7 o'clock position. Okay. So, uh, what time of day is it? It is late afternoon, and the oxen is hungry. And we still haven't found a way to get across? Nope. Uh, it looks like this uh, collection of buildings, as you move about, you notice that the small string of buildings gives way to a much larger string of buildings. This, in your opinion, as well as Crendor Sue, who saw the map, surmised that this is probably Zeto. Well, let's go uh, say hi. <coughs> you have yep. no, unless you want to swim for it, the lake is still pretty uh, high. It's still pretty far from the shore, right? Mm -hmm. it appears as though it's right in the middle of this lake. Mm. Well, and you say it's about a quarter mile. <coughs> yep. Well, there must be boats around here somewhere. They heaps. All right, let's look around. Yep. Well, Investigation search. check, everybody. Ooh, Investigation uh, check. 11. Ooh, 19. Uh, 11. I will roll for Crind. Crindor, I need an investigation check, please. Uh, not good enough. Uh, 19, Crendor. You find what appears to be, we'll call it a raft. Oi, look at this. It's a raft. We could, like, some of us, not all of us, could get on it. We have to leave the, uh, the oxen here. But you could, you could well, send Bilbo over by itself. Yeah. I still think we should <laughs> exactly. turn Bilbo exactly. loose so we can find some food. The Trojan Bilbo. Exactly. And we'll provide for Bilbo if we just turn him loose. Um, do I? Do I? Can I do a survival check to see if there's like tender grass somewhere or whatever to There's plenty of plants in the forest. Bell -bell. <laughs> there's plenty of grass here and it's still pouring okay. rain. All right. Yeah, let's let's just turn it loose. Yeah. Okay. Hope it doesn't die quickly. See ya. Good See luck, ya. friend. Hope it suffers. Uh, the good news is uh, you you guys uh, have eliminated the need for the wagon. Uh, give me intelligence checks, everybody. Oh. That is not my strong suit. <laughs> that is not no. any of our strong suits. Wow. <laughs> Eight. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, okay. Sixteen. So <laughs> I'm a fucking Ooh. genius. Coda, I see her brilliant shining from you. I rolled a nat I'm, 20. I'm so, so fucking 20. smart. Eight. 
Bro, you can surmise that if you knock off the axle and the wheels, maybe, maybe uh, this cart might be tangible as a float. Ooh. And it, along with the raft, uh, mm -hmm. will most likely hold the four of you. Okay. Two and two. I make that suggestion <laughs> to the others. It wouldn't take much to remove the the wheels. So no, Coda's actually... got a big hammer. Yeah, I can crush it. Come on. Oh yeah. Yeah, we could do that. Let's get these wheels off. Uh D twenty, Coda. You only roll too four. high or too low. Now you'll be a boat. Three. <laughs> well, you hit it with the half of your Warhammer. Uh, fortunately, it doesn't damage your Warhammer, and the wheels do subsequently come off. Great, that. I thought that happened a long time ago. Well, let's test it to see if it's seaworthy. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Uh, there, There is no provisions left upon it. Uh, you guys kind of push it down off the edge of the lake, and uh oh, <laughs> it floats. Good luck, Bilbo. Well, let's see. Maybe we uh, split the split the party on this one. Like two people in the one room, and one other two will take the raft. Everybody, okay. perception check. Yeah. Uh, twenty-one. Twelve. Hmm. Is that perception? Perceptione. Uh, let's see. The uh, ten per crow. Five. Oda, Crendor, Crow. Uh, as, as you try and determine, okay, well, who should go on this and who should go on that? Uh, Cup goes. Uh, it's uh, floating away. <laughs> Boy, he just, he just pushed it in the water. Oh gosh. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna try to get it. Can, can I okay. wait out and grab it? Sure, you go ahead. <laughs> I can't swim. I'm sure there's no quippers out there. Brother Cup, uh, give me an uh, athletics check. Oh sure. Uh, actually, that's not bad. Um, Seventeen. You successfully wade out, grab a hold of the tongue, uh, and manage to drag it back. Uh, so, yes, you still have both items. It sure floats. The it's fact good. that three of you decided to argue about it is right. impressive. Your lucky brother Cup got the good roll. Yeah. Uh, so, you got that, and I again, in quotes, the raft. Um, well, I'm staying with my cart. All right. <laughs> so I'll take the... Uh... I'll go with Cap. Okay. Let's that's just cool. fucking go. That's okay, me and Crendor will be on the raft. Okay. Uh, give me, uh, let's make Carol happy. Give me performance checks, everybody. <laughs> performance. No, that's going to make Carol steam. Hi, Carol. <laughs> I love it. Carol, are your ears steaming? Carol and Ernie love it when I do shit like that. Fifteen. Oh, wait, Kingdom. performance. That's a charisma. I get a plus one to that. Uh, that makes my roll a 13. Uh, 15 for Crow. 14. 15s, 14. Okay. Uh, you guys, okay, you, you figure this out. You're kind of dog paddling because you don't have any sticks to guide yourself out. Mm. Uh, about 50 yards out into the lake, you hear, Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, mm. Oh, no. Sounds like a dead dog out there. <laughs> yeah. Dead. Dead, dead hey, ox. Might, nice. might have sounded like an ox. Somebody got burgers tonight. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, you knew that one was coming. Uh, <laughs> perception check, everybody. No cows can swim, right? Oh. 14. 17. Uh, 19. 13. All four of you are carrying individuals and turn to figure out 
what happened to the ox when you look up and you see a hail of arrows coming out of the tree line as the rain continues to thunder down. Each Look, one of it's you, raining. <laughs> each one of you gets two arrows, Crendor. Four and eight. That's not going to hit. Uh, Brother Cup. Yeah. Eight and Matt 20. One will That's going to hit. A crow. Ouch. Ten and one. Uh, Coda, eight and ten. So only one of you gets hit with an arrow, and it's Brother Cup. Three hit points of damage as a choo choo in your Achilles tendon. Oh, uh, no. I'm all going of the to. The other arrows fall short. I'm going to use an action to. Um, what do you call that crap? Channel Divinity, um, preserve life, and heal myself of those three points. I thought you were going to scream in agony. I did I that while I was doing that. Right. <laughs> That's why I'm instantly healing it because it's like, that sucks. And there goes his golf swing. <laughs> okay. Uh, since Cup's doing that, Coda, you will roll against me. Crendor and Crow, which one of you wants to roll against me? I'll roll. Okay. Uh, D12, okay. boys. Oh, geez, come on. 11. 11. One. Uh, you guys managed to get back to paddling, and you guys are headed towards this string of structure. That arrow. Uh, and you notice ahead what binds these all together is some kind of chain. Uh, and it, it's, as you get closer, there's a lot of jagged hooks on it uh, and it doesn't look nice <laughs> uh, it looks very distressing as you head towards it uh, from your direction you are traveling you notice that there does not appear let me double check this uh, campaign two calamity Death trap. Death trap. Death trap. <laughs> yeah, it's right there. I'm thinking of the Paris siege <laughs> in Vikings. Oh. I feel like they may have. It's right here. <laughs> Slaughter at Zeto, right here. Oh, what? Oh, uh, what? You guys are headed to. Uh, a collection of buildings. Uh, there's. There's about six or seven buildings, but only two of them have this chain. So there's two of them that stick out, and there's four or five behind it. And then the chain is right at the waterline, uh, maybe a foot higher than that. And you can tell that this chain has fish hooks, scimitars, just all sorts of metal shit. That is going to make this uh, not a good entry point. Okay. Uh, one of you, Left or right, or Coda, notices uh, people on people. the first building that has this chain thing attached, and they appear to be archers. Well, that's not good. Oi, hello. You well, not either. Our, you killed our ox, you assholes. No, the are that came, came from the from shore. The other direction. No. Uh, oi, we need help. No, hinder. Please don't shoot us again. Persuasion so from the other place. Persuasion. Oh, shit. Don't have. Oh, one. okay. Eighteen. Well, Nineteen persuasion. Uh, we're not here to kill anybody well he need to help out if you need it everybody investigation check and with this investigation checks <laughs> yeah. oh bloody excellent oh uh eight. <laughs> ten. Eight, eight, 20 and ten mm. uh brother cup you notice watermarks on the sides of these buildings indicate that at one point in time 
either it was high tide or the water was about a foot higher in this lake. I see. Uh, this does not uh, do any distinction to the chain. <laughs> uh, Coda, you see a fellow dwarf. Oi, mate, who are you? What do you want? G'day, I'm Coda. Uh, this is my friend Cap. Uh, Hello. And in the other one, it's Crendor in Crow. Uh, Hi. Is he from the other city? What was it called again? I don't think uh, I'm going to shoot you guys anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well, he um, help. Yeah. We heard about the uh, the people trying to do the uh, attack on Crendor. the go, go that way. Go that, that way. way. Go that, that way. way. All right. Go. That way. We'll that start way. paddling the other way. <laughs> the, the, the opposite? The other other way? That That way. Oh, oh, that way. Your military <laughs> right. Your military oh! right. Oh. Some sex of shit. This is why I'm I should small shot you. Uh, <laughs> sure, you're from a small town. We were uh, from a small town. Uh, Just a you, small town Carol. Living in a lonely world. world. <laughs> as you guys see the second building that this chain thing is attached to, you notice there are several buildings behind the chain. Uh, you notice several small flotilla boats, uh, kind of oval in shape, uh, no sails. They're just husks of something, possibly trees or giant pea pods. Uh, but as you Ooh. continue to dog paddle along, you notice that the chain attaches to two towers uh, jutting Ooh. up out of the water. Uh, and there are a lot of archers on top, uh, and they are waiting for you uh, because apparently the telecommunication system is good here in Zeto. Uh, nice dwarves. But you can tell that the chain itself does not span between the two towers. That is an entirely different kind of chain. Uh, so you surmise that this is the probable entrance as you guys get to these twin towers uh, the uh archers atop ask you oi who are you pricks uh well uh, oh. as we said earlier, here we go again uh coda yep. uh yep. it's cup cup and, and crow uh, crow we're here to help help what uh, well, there's a lot of folks with bows in the forest there, and they're imminently going to attack you. And they killed our oxen. They did that too. Bastards. Bastards. Yeah. Why'd you leave your oxen? Well, well they said their god would protect it. I said that's not that. what we said. You did. Hail Satan. Hail Satan. <laughs> we didn't say Cheskin would protect it. We said Cheskin wills it. Everything has to eat. Well, we couldn't we couldn't take it with her. I mean, she's we'd wreck the we'd wreck the raft. Oh, is that what you call she that? She might thing? have been able to swim. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, Oxen uh, paddle. Raft. We, we could have ridden the oxen across the water, perhaps. <laughs> I don't know. I think. No. Yeah. Uh, persuade me again, Coda. I call. You're a paladin. Come on, proceed. It doesn't mean they'll listen. Oh, I know that. <laughs> uh, yeah, I have faith Graham, in you. Billy Graham considered himself a paladin. <laughs> wow. I feel more like Kenneth Copeland, so. Nice. Ooh. <laughs> nice. That'll work, yeah. <laughs> so I'm full of myself. Uh, Wait a minute, 16. you're Australian. Maybe you're Ken Ham. That's true. Oh, that's true. Oh, nice play. Who's the guy down in Texas with the mega church? Oh, that's right. Joel all, Joel all of them. <laughs> all of them. Joel, random white guy. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, but you can bet he looks like this. <laughs> Robert Schuler. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Go Robert Schuler. Yeah, uh, um, what, what do you got, Coda? Uh, 16. Um, apparently, uh, since you guys aren't big, hairy creatures, they're going to go ahead and let you in. Uh, the chain here uh, is essentially chain link fence, and they will raise it out of the water, allow you to come in between the two towers where another chain link fence is there, and then they will lower 
the chain link fence and essentially trap you. Nice. Uh, Lock you, system. You, you see That's above really great. a rope with what appears to be a basket on it. Uh, slack is given to the rope and the basket descends and they respectfully request all of your weapons. Oh. Do I get a receipt for this? Because, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> he takes the big mall off his... I don't legs. know if that basket's big this. enough, Coda. And uh, I made this mall, so uh, in this mace, it's small thing. This is El Cabong, so I need, a, I need a receipt, if I could, please. Sure, we'll get your receipt. Uh, you do not know if you're going to get your shit back, Crendor. I'll, I'll put my weapons in. Coda's a trusting person. You guys are you guys are giant yeah. candy and stripes when the Russians stop them. Right. Here, here you go. Here, here you go. <laughs> there you go. Pass it forward, guys. Yeah. Uh, Krindor, well, we you gonna to help? You gonna... Yeah, yeah. This might take a bit, Coda. Don't forget the one tucked in your sock. Oh yes, he take this. He's a knife. He's uh, another you, small hammer. Do you want Coda's rock? This is a rock. Sometimes he hits people with it. Uh, would you like this? This is actually pocket sand. I've got it. Nah, it's it's a weapon if you use it right. Nah, all right. Uh, the basket raises back up and goes to the tower on the left. Uh, the chain link fence ahead of you goes up. And you. Do you think they wanted in. my shovel? Well, it's, never mind. Keep it. Keep it. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Forward. Yes. Forward. As you move forward, uh, a long plank starts oh. to come out on the left tower, uh, similar to a pier, a boat pier. Uh, and you surmise that uh, maybe they want you to dock. Uh, ahead of you is a floating city. Uh, I mean, it's it, they aren't great buildings. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's not Venice. Uh, it's more of Venice and Western Kentucky. <laughs> uh, but, you know, ahead of you is just an enormous building. Enormous. It, it's one of the biggest things you've seen so far. Uh, but it is surrounded by other buildings, some of which are submerged, as you can tell. Uh, oh. The outlined ones. Oh. So, as you can tell, you guys are coming in here, and oh. that gigantic building is right there. Uh, would you like to dock at this mobile pier? Uh, yeah. Sure. Yeah. What yeah, else we makes, have to do? Makes, makes sense. Uh, an armed contingent comes out, and one human being introduces himself as Simon Laban. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Oh, okay. Okay. Hi, I'm Nick Rebs. <laughs> if you don't understand that joke, look it up. Simon Lamar. Her name is Rio and she <laughs> yep. dances uh, in the This uh, wild-haired, good-looking individual comes out and asks you to state your business to... To Brother Cup. State your business. Oh. Hello, I'm Cup. That's Coda, Crow, Crindle, Sue. Um... We've come to help you and to warn you of an imminent attack. For all Caesar K's. Uh, a lady behind Simon is looking at your vehicles and points out uh, what was friend or Sue. Uh, where'd you guys get these pieces of shit? I punch her in the throat. Uh, you you got to get past Simon LeBond to do that, though. Oh, come on. <laughs> I, I go after her. Okay. Is, she, is she talking about us, or is she talking about the... <laughs> doesn't matter. She's talking, about your, talking about your boats. <laughs> yeah. go ahead well, I thought she her. was just talking about us. <clears throat> I mean, we're good with it. <laughs> 20. Oh, yeah, you, you don't punch her in the throat. Well, you do punch her in the throat. That's what you were aiming at. Mm -hmm. uh, oh. She crumbles on. She stays on the pier even. She goes overboard. Odd, she stays on the pier and starts choking vehemently. 
All right, uh, 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 hear say, the familiar. Don't fucking disrespect what? us. Uh, and the archers above have all taken note of you. Simon Lebon, unfazed. Yeah, that's for it. <laughs> Please do not assault my people. Your people I can take care of that. Verbally assault us. With respect, those two vehicles are pieces of shit. You want me to throw, punch you? He looks unconcerned. <laughs> I'm going to throw a punch him now. Fight! Fight! Oh fight! 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 <laughs> Woo! Boy, she's trying to end this campaign early, huh? Give me an initiative first. Kick him in the ding ding. Kick him in the ding ding. <laughs> was just trying to get killed off. Nineteen. Okay, uh, you can throw the punch. Eighteen mm -hmm. does not hit him. Uh, you hit him square in the throat protector. Oh God! Oh, that's bullshit. <laughs> He's wearing a gorget. <laughs> Fuck. It, it's the fucking leader of the guards. What did you think he was going to be? AC eight. <laughs> <laughs> Probably yeah, AC eighty two. Fuck you. Uh -huh. It's like it's like prison. <laughs> you know, Come you got to take out the uh, biggest guy. Yeah. How many points do I, I need to heal off. his companion for? Uh, she throat punched him for I don't know D four. Uh, Crendor, give me a wisdom save. Really? Uh, the companion's down two hit points. Seventeen. Okay. Seventeen saves. Uh, you it. feel something come over you. The companion's uh, no longer down hit points. And well, she's still coughing. Uh, yeah. Simon Lebon looks at you and goes, "Don't even try it, because I will dump all your weapons into do, the lake." Do, do no, El Cabon. Our weapons. <laughs> no. Crendo. If you toss El Cabon, Crendo or Sue, I will put my foot betwixt thine hind quarters. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are assholes. Whatever. I promise to laugh. Well, you're the one. You went off and punched him in the throat. It's a lady. We, they we're had just, it coming. You yeah, know, we did. We we did promise Crendor there'd be things to to smash. Thank and, you. And and and, and I We've apologize. No. I apologize. I apologize at Crendor's enthusiasm, but there was someone in the shore who shot a tremendous cloud of arrows at me and I took one right here, see? And like in my Achilles tendon, it was very, very painful. I think I think you should pay attention to the threat immediately on the shore. Mm. Uh, are they riding in a flotilla similar to yours? I do not believe I'm so. I'm gonna go again. Uh, Crendor, you will have to roll persuasion for all your rolls inside Zeto at disadvantage because you are gaining a reputation. Uh, Brother Cup has stepped in front of you, so you will be rolling at disadvantage uh. if you decide to throat punch anybody else. Uh, Simon LeBon says, we are aware of the threat on the coastline. Thank you. Ah, well, in that case, may we offer our services? Sure. You and, and the throat case, puncher. <laughs> We get the fuck out of here. You guys deal with it on your own, assholes. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're going to get them all killed. This will be great. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Simon LeBond says uh, we can transfer you to the magistrate if you have information for us. No. Thank you. Fuck uh, off. Yeah. The arrows you look don't like get this. Our information. The, the arrows That's look fair. exactly like this. Really? You guys are just going to roll over and say, here. Have all the information. Uh, well, well, uh, that's what we is, were tasked with doing. This is what we were doing. I mean, that yeah, was part of the plan. That, that was, was the job. We're here. <laughs> well, Take the information they, they to the it? Zeto. Are they that it? wasn't part of the job brief. Well, I mean, they are about to get attacked, so... That's well, true. They don't think so, then... Well, no, they're, 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 they're they are aware. They are aware. They think but... they're, you know... And if well, they know they're going to get attacked, then what the fuck are we doing here? Uh, uh, now that we are away, I guess we could go big and uh, tell them that they know. But, and then, but now we've been attacked. Then we could play back and forth like uh, a fucked up postal service. 
and uh, let them know. Don't go all racial on me with Chinese. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we you just say, fuck both sides. We get out. Live our lives. Simon Lamont says, uh, would you like to see the magistrate? Yeah, sure. Uh, yes. They well, will yes. allow uh, essentially a crew boat, a very nice boat. This boat puts yours yeah. to shame. Uh, and si- uh, our boat sure. was a craft and a cart. Yeah, you guys were riding shit. <laughs> you guys, you guys are Cuba. Yeah. <laughs> Only yeah. without the. Uh, I mean, we had a thirty-seven money. Ford and oil barrels. What? Yeah. Yeah, and you know what? Uh, we made that shit ourselves. That's <laughs> right. Uh, yeah. Simon Who the lake? points out, do tell. <laughs> <laughs> well, we knocked the wheels off the cart. Uh, <laughs> you guys are allowed to get into this boat. Uh, two individuals have long sticks and they have striped shirts and strange hats. Uh, they are going to ferry you across the Gulf. Oh, so uh, What's yet. that thing in the deep with the big shiny teeth? It's amore. <laughs> uh, <laughs> because mostly they're watching you pee on their boat, Crendor. Uh, you notice that you Sorry, are not getting your weapons really back. To pee on a boat. <laughs> it's, you know, I just haven't had a chance nope. to pee since we've been going. Sure. Wow. Uh, you, you holding guys are... it the whole time? Yes. <laughs> no, <laughs> she's that's always so mad. Occasion. That's not healthy. Crandall, you could get a UTI. I pee after sex. <laughs> <laughs> so... Uh... <laughs> Well, Crindle, when's so the last time that happened? Because you haven't peed in years. <laughs> it's no wonder she's angry if you had to hold it that long. It hurts so bad. <laughs> wow. That explains why she been so angry. We just thought she had a knickers and a twist. How did we know? You guys need to start giving shit up. <laughs> You got uh, the, the two ferrymen <laughs> are just straight ahead, looking straight ahead. They are not going to make any. <laughs> uh, if, if you do, I guarantee I will kill all four of you. Oh, God damn it. Oh. <laughs> uh, sink the boat with everybody. In. <laughs> everybody, give me perception check, please. I have to stop crying long enough to see the die. Uh, <laughs> Thirteen. Thirteen. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. 15. I did 25. <laughs> Rendor? 15. All four of you notice that there is a secondary boat behind you. Similar <laughs> in build. It has Simon Lebon. Great. This asshole. Stroking it. Uh, you guys. Hi, Simon. That would be Billy Squire. He's jerking yeah. off back That's there. true. That's just awesome. Yeah. Since <laughs> the woman peeing in the boat. Uh, because she just fucked over all of her comrades and apparently that's when she beat. I did not. Okay. So you guys arrive uh, and for some reason uh, this structure is immense. It's made of stone which you find unusual in the middle of a lake uh, Mm -hmm. and it's got stone steps. Maybe it's a rock. Maybe it's an island. Uh, There are no (laughs) rocks here, just giant ravens. A rock feels no pain. So as you guys, an island never cries. As you guys land, they kind of sideways put it up there. You guys are able to get out okay. There are several other smaller personal craft here. All have been strung out uh, on a line so that they don't uh, wander off. Uh, Can I cut three, them? Three, <laughs> yeah, the uh, guys will whack you in the hand if you try and cut them. Uh, there are three sets of double doors brass 12 feet high this place is regal I, it is huge uh there there's no discerning how big this building is it is the biggest structure you've seen to date and it, it's huge atop uh the roof line it's tiled uh, but there are transparent openings windows that run all the way along. It kind of looks like Lucas Oil Stadium, and for I God's say, sake. Why are we even here? Uh, you you are here to see the magistrate. The magistrate. No, I'm talking to my compatriots. Oh. They don't need our help. 
Apparently not, mm-hmm. but I Probably mean, we not. can at least uh, deliver the missive and let them do whatever they have yeah, to do. Yeah, I mean, I we told Niska Poot over. we'd do That's it. What I think. Hey, we're just doing our job real quick and get out. And Wait, are we getting around. paid for this? Mm-hmm. What's paid? Paid? No. Oh, okay. I mean, uh, we, <clears throat> we're, we're more or less trading goods for the most part. This will get us some type of maybe uh, oh, goodwill. What are they going to get? Exactly. Yeah. Ah, she keeps punching everybody in the throat. Well, Crendor is a little bit of an opposition to goodwill. Yeah, I, I get that. Uh, as it's you guys wait she has out, to pee. Yeah. You guys I mean, wait. she hasn't gotten laid in a long time, so it's understandable that she's angry. Well, and she needs to pee. with you three <laughs> who, who don't understand indoor plumbing. Probably, <laughs> for, probably for her, it's a sanitary a, issue. It's her, her, it's her pond fire. <laughs> Traveling with the three of us might be considered <laughs> a cock block. Nice. <laughs> Thank you. Whatever. Uh, I'm saving myself a chicken. <laughs> As you guys wait outside Simon LeBond's boat uh, docks, he has two very large bags from the noises in it. Uh, you surmise that El Kabong and all the other weapons are present. Uh, and he says, if you'll follow me to the magistrate, you can conduct your business. Uh, he can stops, you turns around. We can conduct our business. And He's looks not at now. <laughs> and says, don't throat punch the magistrate. No uh, as the doors open up, Oh, this cavernous room no. is huge. It has inlaid wood floor. It's in a parquet design. Uh, and all, all along the outer rim are different levels where people are seated. At the far end, there is a Ooh. large opening uh, and then a flat platform where there is a podium-like item there. Uh, yep. Everybody go ahead and give me perception check. Sure. That is a nat one, which gives me an eight. Uh, that was but a 20. I think Coda is about like, our cup is about like. Crow and Coda? 18. 21. Uh, Brother Cup is in Hoosiers when they go into <laughs> Butler Fieldhouse. Crow, Coda, and Crendor, you notice that the magistrate the speaker on the flat portion is of Krender Sue's race. Uh, It's a building. He appears to be holding some type of court, judicial proceeding, uh, something run-of-the-mill business. Uh, As you guys are led out onto this parquet floor, the ambient light comes in, the rain has stopped outside, uh and the magistrate takes notice of you uh simon Lebon dumps all of your stuff at your feet and says i'll be right back uh you see him i go, wait with bated breath <laughs> you go he's I, you see him i go think this place stairs. is bigger than all of toad town uh it is uh, bigger than yeah, toad town. <laughs> and it has indoor plumbing so uh and an hvac system and the whole floor is dry. The yes. whole thing. Simon Lebon uh, goes up, talks to this individual uh, who shuts down the meeting rather quickly and follows Simon Lebon down the steps and meets with you guys. Has anybody gathered their weapons? Not no, going to touch it. I'm yet. just sitting here stewing. Okay. Like I'm excited. I want to grab El Cabal, but Fair enough. Grindor scowling at the bags. This individual yes. comes down and Simon LeBon introduces him as Jex Tor. Um, Jex Tor. He points out that this is the magistrate of Zeto and probably the smartest person you will ever meet. Uh, he has saved the structure, blah, blah, blah. He gives a long-winded explanation uh, and you're just waiting for somebody to say, I'm Jon Snow, King of the North. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> after a minute, uh, Jack Store uh, reaches out to shake each one of your hands. No, thank you. Alicia? 
Nice to pleasure. meet you. Oh. Pleasure to meet you. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, uh, I appreciate the fact cup. that uh, you have information for us. Nope. Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, yep. So we recently stopped, uh, I believe it was a Nola tech. Uh, no, no. Bugbear. Bugbear. Bugbears. We stopped the bugbear tech and the Nola tech, by the way, earlier, but uh, they uh, we found this missive. I'll hand them the paper. Um, and that was in the uh, bugbear <coughs> stuff. Right. Uh, and, the, and, and when we were on our way here, they shot us with an arrow, looked like this. Yeah, and I believe they're uh, oxen. They're coming your way. It could be dangerous for y'all. I mean, eat, I mean, you seem like you've got a good thing here, but uh, I mean, they might have you know, been freshly resupplied with meat. And we don't know what their capabilities are, so oxen, maybe, they, uh, you. they might fuck your world up. Well, that is a lot to digest. Uh, I certainly well, appreciate. It. Have you guys yep. eaten recently? Uh, yeah. No, not for a day or so. He yells out, bring food, bring food to these fine folks. Uh, stewards come by. They have water, wine, cheese, and meat. Uh, and uh, are very polite. Offer each one of you uh, yep. food and yep. beverage. Yep. Yep. Thank uh, you very much. Thank you. Graciously take it. <laughs> um, before I grab the food, uh, Vex Tor, right? Yes. Um, you guys have dropped all weapons in front of us, which is a little sketchy. I mean, considering you what you're doing, does that mean we're going to get them back soon? Because I've not gotten a receipt for more stuff. You can have it now. Oh. Fuck yeah! And he walks over. He's like, El Cabong, Macy. Little hammer one, two, and the <laughs> new guy. <laughs> that's my mace, and uh, that's my crossbow. And who's who's eating bolts. and drinking? I'm going to go back to eating and drinking. Yeah, yeah, everybody roll. Constitution. Constitution. I'm yeah. not eating See. and drinking. Okay. Koda grabbed uh, his stuff. <laughs> <laughs> he was more worried about that than food. 15. <laughs> I grabbed my stuff too, but it only took me three seconds. Uh, you, you aren't carrying an arsenal on you. Exactly. Uh, 16 for crab. Yeah, food's good. It's good stuff. It's good eats, guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's really good. Uh, as you guys are talking or getting all your stuff, uh, Jack Store and uh, Simon LeBon are discussing something. They call for several stewards here, uh, and they bring out a map. Uh and they ask, where are you from? Uh, this map Ooh. is kind of detailed, too. Uh, and you can kind of trace the lines where you're at, but it gives you a better idea of the environment in which you are. Uh, yeah. You realize that you have come quite a long way away from Toad Town. Right. We are from mm -hmm. Toad Town. We, I mean, is the map that detailed to where we can see where Toad Town was? <coughs> yeah it's uh this is gonna well no I, I didn't even share screen tonight because i knew it'd mess it up uh, i will send it out to each one of you but this do gives they, you go ahead do they have um where toad town is are they aware of crindor's village being built or uh does the map predate that knowledge uh crendor you mean crendor's part of toad town yeah, mm -hmm. where they've built their village or whatever they're... They do not have that information. Uh, and then and then there's Nescapoot right there where we saw her. And... Yeah, they have... Uh, the map That's... shows Jekko, Afok, and Toad Town. That's a give. Never mind. <laughs> so, Interesting. Uh, it also shows uh, the map of the tributaries. Uh, the waterways, uh, and you realize uh, you're pretty far away from where you yeah. started. Uh, but uh, Jack, Sto Jack Store takes specific interest in Crendor and Crow. Uh, he seems to be paying more attention to them, trying to figure out exactly 
what is up with them. Uh, he is Good luck with that. Unarmed, only wearing a robe. Uh, again, Crendor, he is of your people. Um, but he doesn't seem to be. He's a difficult read. You can't really tell what his opinion is either way. Don't really listen care to, at this point. <laughs> he'll intently watch you guys uh, as you gather your items. And it's almost like he's making a mental note of what each one of you is taking and why. Uh, afterwards. Oh, shit. That's why we're taking <laughs> He's going, to tell, he's going to tell Crendor Sue that she's about to be booted. Uh, so, yeah, that, that would be bad for you at this point in time. Uh, they go ahead and, <laughs> and uh, ask where you're from. Uh, you guys show him on the map. Mm -hmm. And he asks about your mission. Uh, We're on a mission from... Chaskin. <laughs> well, immediately Niskapoot sent us. Yes, Niskapoot. Never heard of her. Oh. Uh, she's about she's there. Heard, she's heard about this place. That's why she made it a priority for us to get here. Well, this is a major trading center. Well, la dee da. Well, uh, I'm uh, I'm sorry. A major what? <laughs> Trading, trading center. center. Okay, um, I couldn't hear over the talk. Oh, okay. So I'm like, so a, I think it a lot of traffic passes through here. Then it used to until the tributaries started to dwindle. So I guess you're not a major trading center anymore. That is correct. There you are. <laughs> um, have you ever explored why the tributary is? Not flowing like it used to? The patrols that we have sent out have not returned. We assume that there is some kind of damming of the rivers. Uh, there are four major tributaries that feed into this lake. In the last <laughs> month and a half, we have noticed that the lake levels are dropping, as you may or may not have noticed as you came in. We did notice that. But you seems, have all seems these like they're... fabulous boats according to our piece of shit so what the fuck what would you like you well, well I've noticed out? I've noticed you all are fairly uh, what's the word I'm looking for uh, you seem to be a wee bit paranoid uh, especially with all your giblets and things you have around the uh, whole place and, and tall and the tall buildings um and you sent a handful of patrols to go check they've not come back uh, uh what's the words i'm looking for i guess i'm really asking the fuck is wrong with you people thank you i mean not in a negative way but more yes. or less from a from the standpoint of uh you're a strong community and you seem to have your shit together, but you seem to be a... I mean, coming from my personal opinion, because I know one when I see one, you seem to be a pack of fuck-ups. Because we are, and, you know, takes one to no one. Because they've been on top so long, they don't know what the fuck they're doing. It's it kind of like when the like, village elders are all standing around holding their peckers. It's like, are you all so strong that... Uh, you're not worried or are you just like being oblivious to it uh we are currently in an isolationist mode why oh. why why Isolation. America. outside uh, of the uh the things coming to attack you i can understand if that's the reason but uh, we we believe that an inner strength allows us to become stronger outside so we're uh, currently trying to determine uh, how to resolve the problem of the dwindling tributaries okay good to know we'll leave you guys to it we'll be out actually if i could um as Crendor, you seem to be really anxious to go fuck something up uh i would uh, like to take the opportunity if we could uh 
exploit our particular services to go, you know, yeah, we, chicken out. We like to rush headlong into danger. <laughs> why, yeah, are we I mean, gonna, you, why are we going to offer them anything? Well, because mainly this is just a C. Uh, How do nah, we know they're going to give us anything? Yeah, they act like they don't need us. Well, obviously they do because, or at least they need somebody more expendable than their own people to go out and check something, and it'd probably be best on us. Um, Plus, if they are actually an evil people, it would just behoove us to get more information, uh, garner the systems so that are around, and if they are right evil, now. we come back and we destroy them. Well, I'm not sure if they're evil. They just seem to be paranoid. Uh, we just blow them up now. With what explosives? I don't know. We'll figure it out. Yes. Hello, so, Mr. Uh, so are you, are you I've got a, a flask of fish oil. Are you offering a legitimate uh, job opportunity? Uh, yeah. Yes. I mean, we're here. We might as sure. well do something fun. I mean, it's either that or we go back, tell them what's going on, that you guys are in the isolation. Well, yeah. and everything seems to be fine. And we, can, we could look into it or we could fuck off. You know, that's how it is, I think. Then yeah, we wait that's for, pretty much Cheskin's uh, way. You can do something about it or fuck yeah, off. And you guys, like, the cow. <laughs> um, it was meant to be that way, Crendor. You don't. How do you not understand determinism? No, and your story no. split so many times, Crendor. I mean, first it was something ate it, and then yeah. they killed it, and then and we then, killed it, and, and, and then someone killed else killed it. it. Yeah. Honestly, it. just pick one story. <laughs> Atheists <laughs> always live in the goalposts. Simon Lebon. Simon Lebon. <laughs> Uh, I remember that. Uh, oh, I'm gonna punch him. And Jack Store's like, no, I'm gonna punch really? Him too. <laughs> really? I'm gonna punch both of them. <laughs> uh, I think I think Kendall's Jack, foreplay involves punching. Yes. Jack, Jack Store tells Coda, "We would graciously uh, accept your aid. However, we would uh, be wanting to reward you." Uh, for said services. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and to start, we would like to give you a... Uh, a boat. Better watercraft? <laughs> uh, wouldn't it? Well... Okay. I mean... I mean sounds okay. I'd I honestly have... say, just from a personal I... perspective, not to be... I mean, we'll leave this up to the group. I'm not personally meant for watercraft very often uh that's not it's exactly maybe... my forte i mean we can use it and give it back but i don't know if i want it to be part of our reward i mean unless oh unless no it's, use... that, that would not be part of your reward well, ah bless uh, cheskin i wouldn't want that shit. um yeah. uh boats are not our specialty yeah do you have someone who can we help can us? we can send uh Cox pilot. <laughs> yeah, we can we can send Coxman out with you to get you to the shore. Where Coda is laughing out loud every time you say, it. <laughs> "Yeah, like that's like, that's whoa. that's that's legit." Like Coda's yeah. like <laughs> Coxman. Right. Coxman. Uh, he he shows you a detailed map of the lake uh, and points out from your description you have come here uh, along this tributary. Uh, yeah. yeah. If you'll tell us what direction you'll go, we will get a pair of coxmen <laughs> to go ahead and ferry you across. Uh, we find that it's yeah. better at night. Okay, uh, night time works for us. Uh, uh, yeah. So we came across, and Kodo will kind of point out where the lower tributary was that he noticed when there, where we went across, that it was low, and then how he got through. Uh, do you need any time to rest, or would you like to go out this evening at dark? I mean, we can do this shit now, yeah. Fair enough. Uh, he will have yeah. Simon Lebon find you two coxmen <laughs> to, uh, ferry you across, uh, at nightfall. It sounds lovely. Uh, he asks, uh, uh for a well. scouting report. Scanning oh, we, and, we'll and, definitely and give him a proof scanning of, yeah. uh, proof. Mm -hmm. the job. Uh, before we get going, um, what would be involved in this reward system? 
like is he are we talking trade or goods that we'd keep or i don't since, know since he was paying attention to you guys and your items uh he will tell each of you that your primary weapon will be enhanced like you can make el cabong like el cabong we can like i'm not a new one but like enhance this one correct fuck a doodle do or if you want a new <laughs> one we can get you a new one no i love el cabong i made that it's the first weapon i ever made and I've kept it this long. I don't want to ruin wow, it. Wow, that's what we're getting for this. You're getting magic items. Prindor, mm -hmm. you're telling me you wouldn't want your ex to be extra sharp for when you cut the fuck out of people. I'm not talking about this right now. Oh no, we're going to discuss this at length. <laughs> extra sharp. We've got a I'm boat talking. Ride. I'm talking. You put your finger against it, and like when it gets like you barely touch it. You've got a big fucking gish. You're Talking, you split people out. in half. You're selling yourselves out for a little bit of magic. Well, it's either that or we just go I'm back. Saying. Crindle, you're awfully snooty for somebody who came across and, you know, you've been barely excited about indoor plumbing. You have no it's sense of adventure. Problem. It's his fault. <laughs> 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 yeah. Tell him about what happened last night. It's his fault. I, I think it's funny you guys think the ox is dead. Uh, we're going to end it there because it is 9.55. <laughs> uh, oh, it wasn't killed. It was something else. <laughs> you guys don't know. You, you, you uh, never hmm. investigated it. Could have been raped uh, by one of them big lizards. Uh, uh, don't even say that. You know, it could have been performing coitus on oh another oxen. God. You don't know. Because... You guys then, didn't go fucking check. Then we so. can have a plethora of things to take with us. Wow. Yeah, it might that's be fantastic. Yeah. A herd. We could have a whole herd. You have a new herd. Jesse, yeah. what'd you think? That was good. I, I had fun with this. Uh, oh, yeah. This, uh, oh, this town, on this the paranoid side. town is, I like how it's, uh, how they're living in their paranoia. It makes me, it makes Coda kind of paranoid, too. <laughs> You guys should be, because I know what's out on the outer rim. <laughs> uh, <laughs> David, what'd you think? I liked it. I like Krindor's, Krindor's newfound attitude. <laughs> yeah, you, we're going to have to keep Krindor from getting us boat. all killed. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> uh, Rob, what'd you think? Oh, I had a blast, as usual. B-side's always fun. Carrie, what'd you think? <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh oh. I had fun. However, throat punching people. You got to throat punch somebody. I did get yeah. it. Oh, that was nice. That was good. Two people, actually. Just one successfully. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Sorry, I got to go with Crendor. She's angry. Armored throats. Well, uh, apparently we learned throats. tonight that she just needs laid. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, that hasn't even come up. So in all this time, evidently she's been holding her pee. So who, who, who would be a hell of a long time. Point? She's got a hell of a UTI. You know? Exactly. <laughs> I've had to pee for six weeks. I hate yeah. all of you. Six years. Folks, you always wonder where a barbarian's rage come from. Now you know. Now you know. Okay. In the words Hold of Eddie good. Murphy, uh, fire, shoot out of my dick. It's fire. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Folks, this has been Murder Hobo Inc., uh, the Calamity B side edition. Thanks for sticking through uh, this. It Whatever was, this was. A uh, hoot. Uh, follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot shit about me and you join our Discord, if you want to buy our cool crap, the link is down there. If you want some cool dice, check out at Pirate Dog Dice on Twitter. And if you want your game to smell a whole lot better, check out oddfishgames.com and their adventure sense. Uh, no more goo tomorrow, sadly. Uh, so catch us Tuesday for Between the Rolls. Uh, folks, let's give them a big kiss and a wave and say goodnight. Mm -hmm. Mwah. Bye, uh. everybody.